Hello, folks. Welcome to a very special episode of Ace Cam. Normally, I have a lot of confidence about capturing that elusive ace on camera, but today it's at an all time high. Why, you may ask? Well, because I'm playing this hole with some of the best players in the world. Welcome to Ace Cam Team TaylorMade Edition. For this episode, I'm playing with a man with one of the most unique and recognizable swings you've ever seen. Someone who won on the PGA Tour just a month after turning pro and has continued to make waves since then. You guessed it, it's Matthew Wolf. Do you want any tees? Uh, no. No, no, no tees? No. No, no. no. no tees on part threes, baby. What? Yeah. Do you, is that, but isn't Jack Nicholas famous for saying that if you have a chance to improve your lie, you have, you have four, oh, 18 chances around. Maybe it's four because of the four part threes. Yeah. But you don't do it. No. Is there a reason? I just feel like, for me, like teeing up, I like, I don't like teeing up the ball very much, especially with irons, because I always feel like I hit it off the top of the face. Oh, okay. And, and for me, like, if I'm gonna use a tee, I'm gonna push it so far into the ground that it's gonna be like it's sitting on grass. So I think if it's sitting up, like if I have a good lie on grass, I feel more confident than if I'm, if it's on a tee. I mean, it's all about confidence. Yeah. All right, so you know the name of the game. Yeah. It's ace cam, 125 yards, a little bit of wind into us. Okay. I, I haven't hit a shot yet. Okay. So I'm just, you know, yeah. as fresh as you are here. I'm well, coming off a little break, so we're gonna, see, <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes. I'm young, but I'm not limber. Before we get started, usually I ask, you know, my partner, mm -hmm. how many hole ones do you have? Um, I have five. Five? Yes. That's awesome. Five. And any professionally or all professionally? No, none professionally. None professionally? None, none in a tournament either. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all like friendly rounds? Yep. Okay. Yep. What are you looking at? If, if I'm telling you to hold the ball, what are you looking at? Um, the hole, usually. Just. <laughs> <laughs> so we got 125, mm -hmm. little breeze. What's the club? Did, you, you picked so it instantaneously. I did, but I didn't realize, you know, I've been. I've been out here for a little bit, yeah, and it's been it's been as, as still as can be. Do, do you want to make a new selection? I have a sandwich. Um, That's bold. Yeah, I, this is usually like my 120, like eight club, so okay. it would be it would it would get there, but I'm a little stiff and it might come oh, back too. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. All right, you're up. Once first. I get warmed up, let's then, see it. I'm pumped. Yeah, should be like a little into off the left, huh? Okay, yeah, I think so. Not sure. Oh yeah, that's there. Yeah. That's there for sure. I just pushed it. Yeah, that's definitely the number. Yeah. Oh, wow. How many aces have you had? I've had one, and I couldn't see it go in the hole. Oh, that's that my first one ever, I couldn't see it go in the hole. Actually, really? my first two. Ah. Yeah. One of them was uphill, part three, back pin, couldn't see it go in. But the funny part is, it was when I was like nine years old or something right. like that. So nine. the people, the people in my group, I was playing with like, you know, older people that we all kind of just play together. And they were older and taller, so they could see it going, but I couldn't. <laughs> and I was so pissed. It was right front right, right over the bunker, and it was right over the flag, and I saw a divot like a foot past the hole. Right. And then I just didn't see the ball, so I was like assuming. So when you're eight and you make a hole in one, number one, do you realize that it's a big deal? Uh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And number two, at that point, do you have the dream that one day you'll be on the same team as Tiger Woods? with him behind you mimicking your swing? Um, the hole in one, I mean, you know, people go their entire lives without having a hole in one. So yeah. it's a, it's cool to see that, but I, I would say I would rather take Tiger mimicking my swing over a hole in one. I'm just saying. I think so, yeah. I'm just saying. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Ah, uh, it's gotta go. You think? I mean, that's money. I feel pretty good. It's yeah. Like... Oh, yeah. That's good, man. Oh, wow. Okay, coming back to the hole. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep on doing that. That was... But, th but, I mean, if you think about it, it's like you'll pound 100 balls on the range and, like, yeah. you know, not do it. Or, you know, you, how many balls have you hit in your life? Like, it's Whoa. like... You know what I mean? It's like... I mean, how many of you? You must have hit more than a million. Oh yeah, I mean, you had to have, had to have. Jeez, that'd be cool to get a counter, like like frequent flyer miles. Yeah. <laughs> How many balls <laughs> like, have no. I hit in my life? <laughs> a little right, honestly, fully makeable putt. Like <laughs> just a, just like five foot putt. It's a birdie on the ace game. That's pretty I, good. That was really good. Go I in. Mean, I'm hitting a pitching wedge, so 
Oh. A little short. That was close. That was really nice. <laughs> Dude, I just love the ball flight. I'm gonna hit a horrible shot right now, I have a feeling. <laughs> See, I called it. I mean, it just totally fatted it. <laughs> That's fine, at least I got that out of the way. So what is the most surprising thing about the PGA Tour that you found? I think it's just like, for me, more the, the comfortability. Even though everyone's trying to beat each other, it's kind of like one big family. The craziest thing is just, you know, you know, be, it's like being on TV. It's like, you know, my friends always text me, like, when they see it, it's pretty surreal. And, right. and you know, I think I have to kind of sit back sometimes and tell myself that, because even though I need to reach for higher goals and not be okay with, you know, just being up there with them every, every once in a while in a tournament, it's still really cool to see that, because that's what I've always dreamed of. Right. Oh, that's looking good. That's looking real good. Just passed. Just passed. Oh, that's looking really good. That could cut in. There you go. That was really nice. That was pretty good. That was my best shot of the day. Yeah. You landed back and rolled 16 inches in front of the pin. <laughs> Amazing. Cool. I just, I just want to know if I'm like getting it there. Yeah, you're getting it there. That's good. Oh. Oh. Come on. That's actually pretty good. If you've only had five in your life. Yeah. Like. One every four years. Yeah. One every four years. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, that's basically what it is. Well, yeah, yeah. When did you first pick up a club? When I was like five, four. Five, wow. Four or five. Four or five. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty good. Hello. What are you like working on in your game right now? Are you working on anything or are you just like working um, on just like showing up and just hitting the ball? <laughs> So I'm I'm working on like, oh, I'm just kind of cutting over it. Yeah. You and I are just doing crossovers. Um, I just usually I just work on rotation. Really. Just making sure to get through the shot. Yeah. And so, I, I've been doing a lot better actually now. Should we hit one at the same time? Sure. I almost killed that bird, and thinned it out of bounds. Oh. I went right across the hole. That was really good. How many nicknames do you have? Uh, quite a few. Not none that I'm or not all I'm gonna tell you. But... That's very high. That can be it. Oh. No. No, it's like just left of it. Is is it hard to hit a shot after you've hit a really bad shot, do you, or does it just leave you immediately? Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say everyone hits bad shots. There we go. That's my shot. That was nice. That was good. Damn, that ball goes high. Please. So close. I mean, I'm telling you, this is what drives you crazy. I've had a few that have been pretty close. Oh. We need like we need like music, you know what I mean? Like at the pro M where they have like the party on the part three, <laughs> some tacos. Left. That's pretty good. Is that it? Short. Yeah. That's solid though. That felt good. Last one for me. Last one for me, too. I'm. No. All right, well, thank you. 
That was fun. Good game. Yeah, that was definitely. Fun. Thanks for having me. Well, no ace today, unfortunately, but thankfully we have five other players from Team TaylorMade to take a crack at it. Will one of these pros get a hole-in-one on ace cam? Tune in to our other episodes to find out.